All right, part one of the Orange Star Territory has been liberated. It's time to move on to area two. It's time for a border skirmish. Black hole troops are approaching through the fog. Can Stanley successfully hold the bridge? Lord Black. Yes, sir, the Orange Star forces have been sighted on the opposite shore. Is that all they got? Send out my big, beautiful tanks. They have the range to roll them over. We'll crush them like ants, or leaves, or what else is tiny and easy to crush? Orange Star CEOs. I'd be tougher. They won't know what hit them. I don't know why, but like Flax's like grippy hand gesture that he's doing just feels so weird to me. Oh boy, we're back with Sammy, which you know what that means. It's time for some more Fog of War, my favorite mechanic in this series. Commander, it's tough to see through this fog, but enemy troops have been spotted on the far side of the river. Huh? Are you sure? Here, in this rural area? What are your orders, ma'am? Listen up. We need the sea stops and attack. We can't allow the enemy to gain a foothold this deep in the Orange Star territory. Yeah. Good assessment, Sammy. This is the tactical sense I expect from a Special Forces Commander. Yes! Now, you're here? I was wondering if you would make it to Macroland? Mm -hmm. Of course I made it. I'm t uh, tracking down the CEOs invading Orange Star. Sammy, can I trust you to take care of this situation? Roger. Yes, ma'am. But if you had some advice you could offer, I'd feel much more confident. Of course, Sammy. I'm always happy to impart some knowledge. Do you need me to explain? Yes. When Fog of War is present, units can only see a limited distance. Check each unit's vision range to ascertain the distance they can see. See this bright spot around the units? That's their vision range when Fog of War is present. The other, unit, the other lit areas are HQ and cities. The areas around neutral cities and enemy positions aren't illuminated enough. Or illuminated, though. They stay dark until you draw close to them. See this city? It's dark, so you don't know what's get there. When checking the city's allegiance, I suggest approaching with caution. Infantry and mech units have special abilities. This, well, let's just select the infantry unit. Now try to move the infantry unit over here to the mountains. The vision range of infantry and mech units increase in the mountains, making it much easier to spot enemies. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, did you notice that this area is still dark? That's because you can't see in the woods unless your unit is right next to it. By the way, reefs are, are the same. They remain dark until you're next to them. The enemy's using the terrain to conceal troops, right? Well, you can do that too. In fact, using the terrain to hide can be an excellent strategy. Do you need me to explain the recon and rocket units? There could be something in this forest. This is a perfect chance to use the new recon unit. Select it now. Alright, so we'll take a recon. Let me explain what this unit can do. The recon unit has a vision range of five spaces. Neat, huh? The one thing to be aware of is that it's not partic a particularly powerful unit. It can take on the infantry just fine. You should just avoid engaging any other units. Let's send the recon over here to investigate the forest. Move it up here and check it out. There's a tank unit in there. It's the perfect example of the dangers of Fog of War. If you had to enter the forest with your units, you would bump right into the enemy. You would have been stuck there, unable to do anything. Now that we have a chance to test our rocket units, select this unit. Alright, we'll take it. You have the range, go ahead and fire on the tank. <laughs> the, the, his, his jaw hitting low like that is just too good. Rockets are basically powered up artillery units, though they have the same attack range as missiles, 3 to 5 spaces. Remember, all indirect combat units are unable to fire at close range. They also take heavy damage from direct fire, so you need to keep them protected. One more thing about missile and rocket units. Their movement is classified as tire movement, which means they move slower when not on a road. I know you got this under control, Sammy, so let's show Black Hole that they can't hide from us. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. With the Commander-in-Chief at our side, I'm more confident than ever that we'll be victorious. Alright, and the battle begins. Let's move up our mechs up here and take out this tank column. Alright, let's go over Sammy as our CEO now. 
Sammy, an infantry unit specialist that has trouble with ground units. Uh, with other ground units. She's a proud graduate of Special Forces training. Sammy's foot soldiers gain a plus 30 to firepower and can capture properties 150% speed. Her other direct fire combat units, however, suffer minus 10 to firepower. Transfer units also gain one, per, uh, one more space and movement range. Her favorites are chocolates and her dislikes are cowards. Sammy, in the original Advanced Wars, was pretty good. She it was a very good infantry unit, and she was able to actually tackle a good number of like very strong vehicles with mechs and whatnot, especially with use of CO power. They made her incredibly powerful this game going forward. Her regular CO power is the same as it was in Advanced Wars 1, which is double time. Sammy Switch Soldiers gain plus 1 movement range and plus 20 to firepower. All units gain plus 10 defense. However, her Super CO power, which has a lot of build-up compared to Andy, is a, a lot much, a lot better. Sammy Split Soldiers gain plus two to movement range, plus 50 to firepower, and all her unit or all her ground or all her infantry units can capture properties in a single turn, no matter their HP. All the units gain plus 10 defense. Sammy is basically the Blitzkrieg uh, CO of this game, just. If you can get your infantry close to an enemy HQ or like a very sought after property, pop that super CO power, it's basically game over for the opponent. As for now, let's move our tank up here to the city so that they get that extra defense bonus from the city walls, as well as cut off any vehicles that come this way. Lord Flack. Oh, our infantry have reported finding orange star properties. Enemy cities, huh? Well, it ain't that exciting, but at least capturing properties builds up our resources. Listen up, you goons. If it ain't nailed down, you steal it, got it? Any of you lunkhead troops with full HP should be able to secure a property in two days, so get to it. We gotta bankroll this war if we're gonna come out on top. Alright. Now, because we got our tank there, and that recon is smart enough that it will not engage a tank, we can now start positioning our troops around to get a better defensive position. Let's get our recon moved over here. We'll take you guys off the mountain so we can start capturing the city. We got basically this entire area in front of the bridge completely covered, so if anything shows up, we'll definitely be able to engage it no problem. I will actually soften up these recon units, though. It's best not to destroy a unit unless you know what's behind it, because 9 times out of 10, they like to stack units that are much more powerful behind it, but because this unit is too scared to attack the more powerful units, like recons to tanks, you can actually funnel them in and then hit them with rockets or artillery, and it's actually a very viable strategy. Day two, let's go. Nice country you got there. Yeah. Mind if I take it? Lord Black. Our troops have encountered a star in battle. What are your orders? Hmm. You sure? I can't see anything in this pea soup. Well, if you see him, you blast them. Got that? Now get moving. And he's running. Tanks are engaging our forces. We should be able to hold out against it, especially since we're in a city, so we'll be a lot more protected, plus we'll heal up any damage that we have sustained in battle. Alright, I'm going to keep my recon right here for the time being. I'm actually going to move my mechs up here into the force to hide. And while we do that, I'm going to stick my rockets on the tank unit behind the first one, because our tanks will be able to handle the front one no problem. I gotta say, I said this before in the original Advanced Wars LP I did, but I just love the redesign that Black Hole got. It was definitely a glow up for them. A lot of glow ups in this series was thanks to Reboot Camp, but in terms of like designs in the original Advanced Wars, Black Hole, in my opinion, was always the most boring. Like the infantry were like the most uh, impressive looking. The gunships were too as well, and fighters and whatnot. But the ground forces were. All pretty much the same. They always had this like box uh, design to it with just like a different turret on top. But the glue uh, glow to it actually really does like benefit it greatly. And the little uh, like grab lift you see for the hovercrafts actually look really nice as well. Alright. 
hit them. And that definitely did not work in Flax's favor. Uh, let's put my recon right here. I got a feeling that these guys are going to try to get around to attack my units that are in the city, but the recon should be able to cut them off, no problem. Plus, if I can catch them in the river, then that's even better for me. Uh-oh. Oh, that's just the tanks. I thought that was, like, artillery or rockets uh, targeting my units. Haha, <laughs> you fool! You've fallen for my trap. Can my rockets... I think my rockets can hit that infantry squad back there. Yep, they can. Wipe them out to the last man. Alright, we'll move our recon down here to engage the infantry, and then what survivors there are, we'll wipe out with our ground forces. Definitely more than enough, especially with the fact that we have Sammy as our CO. Those guys did not stand a chance. We'll finish off these tanks with our mech units up here. I really lucked out hiding them up in this forest. And we'll just finish off the tank column right here and now. Now, if memory serves, I believe that this infantry is actually not the last unit and there is a APC hiding around where the HQ is. And also the recons that we still have to take care of. Oh, and artillery. There's artillery as well. Right, we'll put you right here to protect our rockets and we'll get the recon moving back here. And we'll hide you guys up here. Is he going for it? Yeah. Yes, he is. Or I guess he's not. All right, move you up one space. I don't want to run the risk of accidentally bumping into the APC, so we're just going to hit him right here. Because if you bump into a unit that's hiding in a forest and you, you don't, like, know that they're there, you actually waste your turn. Is that a safe spot? No, it's not, but right in front of it is. And I'll keep my, ro my rockets right there for the time being. Alright, guess he doesn't really want to, to attack. Did we take out the... No, I thought the, the recon ran away, so... Where is it hiding? Alright, well, wherever it's hiding, at least it doesn't have artillery protection anymore. I want to s Oh, it's hiding right up there in the city. It's trying to heal up. We'll move you right here. What? Come on, troops! This isn't how it's gonna end! Says you. Let's get you guys up here. Let's move you guys up here. We'll be right here so you're in range of the rockets. And we'll just do that to box them in. And he really is not going to use that seal power, huh? Alright. 
Well, we could capture the HQ, but I think it'd be a mo lot more fun and, you know, more beneficial to power to just wipe out the recon, so let's just do that instead. Not bad, ladies. You're the Black Hole CEO? Why, you look li nothing like... Nothing... Uh, you look like nothing more than a common thug. I'd like to know who's really in charge of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you shut your trap? Hey, wait! He's gone. Even worse, he was rude. Uh. Ugh, that guy really gets under my skin. And I barely just met him. Channel that energy, Sammy. We're lucky to have you on our side. Chalk another one up for Sammy. Alright, and with that, mm, speed could have been a little bit better, but we still got that S-swing, so I'll take it. <laughs> 